I want to talk about an event that we did where we integrated vMix with Zoom. So the cool thing about that is that vMix, you can only bring eight people into facilitate event or the facilitator panel. When you think about it, do you really need more than eight people on the screen at the same time trying to talk? Like, I think that's efficient. It gives you the way to design it and kind of keep everything interactive. But with this project, we interacted it with Zoom and with Zoom, we use Zoom as a studio audience. So the studio audience were able to come, they had to show their photos and they were interacting. They were able to talk to the panelists during Q and A and we were able to mute them when we needed them to be muted. And then we played everything within the platform of Zoom, but with vMix we could play it in Zoom and we could also throw it to a YouTube, we could also throw it to another Zoom. We have so many more options with vMix to really customize it. And that's why I, you know, I always would recommend vMix uh, with your virtual event. But it was really cool to have the Zoom and vMix be interacting with each other because it, it adds that element of having a studio audience to be able to question and be able to interact and be able to see them. And you know, that's what we're looking for. We're trying to get as close as to the live event as possible, which is impossible, but it can still kind of be done with this, uh, with the platform. So that's just a cool idea just for you to think about. Do you need a studio audience in your virtual event to see them, to answer a question? I mean, when you do these things in a, in a, a hop in, or if you do it on some other platforms, you don't get it with that, that where it's tasteful versus customize the taste was still kind of rinky-dink. This is the way it can be done.